so I just woke up at like six in the morning and I just found out. And I, and I, and I, I'm not joking when I say when I say this, but I'm trying to find my camera. But I literally just found out that it was it was snowing. And I mean I didn't expect for the snow, especially this month since it's still October and it only snow in January or December. I I don't know. It's it's crazy. Okay, let me just get a course of those. If you can't, uh, I don't know if you can see it though, really, but it's kind of snowing, sort of. Like, you can see some of the snow over here, some snow over here, but if you live in my area, um, then you already know it's snow. Yeah. So, it's not even, it's not even December yet, and it's snow. Like, it was good. Anyways, that's not the whole point of this video. Yo, what's up? It's your girl Melly here, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I know the video hasn't started yet, but I'm ready to give y'all some, some, you know, good content on this. So, yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Um, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow 100 subscribers. Um, that's my goal for at least the next two months <laughs> since it's almost January. But anyhow, I it's been it's been such a long time. It's been such a long time. You wanna know why? Because when I was little, well not really little, when I was when I was a kid, I used to watch this show. And the show it it, it was it's so it, it still is really it's really violent. Like in my opinion. This <sighs> It's, it, it, it was just so gruesome and just so violent that I couldn't even watch some of the deaths. It was just completely scary. Well, I'm saying some of them, but most of the deaths that I saw, I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. Still violent, but cool. But, yeah. Now, the show that I'm talking about, and if you are a true fan... Please comment down in the in the comment section. True fan, the TV show is called A Thousand Ways to Die. I'm about to put it right here in the center. I've been watching this ever since I was a kid. I may have taken a break from it, a long break, <laughs> actually from that because I, I the nightmares keep coming. <laughs> it's like every single time I go to bed, that's like the only, not really the only thing think about it but you know what it's I don't, I don't know I've grown so much that I just don't really care about it no more so today it, it, it kind of clicked clicked my head that you know what maybe I should just revisit I'm gonna just revisit the, the, the good old nostalgia of a thousand ways to die yeah thought I could just watch them again um, but yeah, it is, 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 is honestly really violent and just really gruesome. So for those of you guys, if you're kids, please just don't watch this. Um, cause it is really violent, but I'm about to show you. So grab some candy, bag of chips, Doritos, popcorn, mother, whatever you got with you, whatever snack you got, you know, just, just bring them in with you and just binge watch on this. On, on these two episodes that I'm about to react to. And... Well, I can't believe you're doing this again, huh? Well, yeah. Stupid drunk. Yeah. Well, everyone is wearing a jacket, and he's like the only person wearing shorts, just shorts. And he even has a number six written on his belly. And okay, continue. Yourself in your team's colors and sit half naked in sub-zero weather or 
football game. Like, look at him. Yes! Zach! Even the people are so bothered by him at this point. Like, this dude's like, can you, can you, can you, can, can you go? If I was there, if I was that person and that person were to, like, I would have just pushed him away because I don't want him touching me at all. I don't know what, I don't know if he took a shower or not, but I don't want him near me. George is what you would call a super fan. He would show up hours before. Okay, maybe he might have missed a mark on on just. Okay. Kick off and get super drunk. I'm gonna bit. I don't know if that's. <laughs> and scare off anyone who walked by. There's really two kinds of football fanatics out there. There's the classy, respectful football fanatic, and then there's the moron. Right. He's got a point. Lots of morons. We're in a short, or in, in the middle of a cold. Cold weather, actually. You wonder, who is he actually going home to tonight? Cross the levee! Those are the kind of fanatics that give us the bad ink. With an Arctic cold front moving in, today's game was going from the fridge. And it's no, and he's still wearing shorts. This dude better catch a pneumonia or something. To the freezer. George was floating with a condition. Yeah, even himself, he's covering himself because he knows it's cold. G go put on a coat. Old hypothermia. Hypothermia is divided into three stages. There's mild, moderate, and severe. The mild stage is when your core body temperature drops to between 95 and 93 degrees Fahrenheit. You will start to shiver, the skin will start to turn pale, and you might have a little bit of confusion. George just thought he had a good buzz going. He had no... Do looking tired. No idea he was slowly turning into a frozen slab of meat. Moderate hypothermia occurs when your core body temperature drops between 93 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Your shivering is quite violent, your muscles become difficult to coordinate. By the time George realized something was wrong, he had lost the ability to communicate. Okay, here's the thing that I hate. No one... I mean, there's like two people sitting next to him and they're not gonna tell him to put on a shirt and on top of that they don't they don't even notice that he's about to die due to hypothermia that stuff is horrible no one's helping him and stuff no one That's around ridiculous. him took any notes he just seemed like the obnoxious drunk he always was being painted blue the fans around him didn't notice that he was actually turning blue, with his core temperature dropping below 88 degrees. Suffering from severe hypothermia, his major organs seized up and his flesh slowly froze. In severe hyperthermia, your core body temperatures drop to below 86 degrees Fahrenheit. You suffer multiple organ failure. kills you is cardiac arrest or cardiac fibrillation. Thanks. There's nothing wrong with rooting for the home team. But when fan turns to fanatic, that's when trouble begins. George went from super to stupor to stiff. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. Real dead. First of all, I mean, he kind of did it himself because he didn't wear anything. So, I mean, he did ask for it. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Okay. This last clip that I'm about to show you, it's just something, I'm pretty much a special video that I wanted to put in. But yeah, it's about two people acting in a set. 
The flow lock pistol was a very simple mechanism. You put the powder charge in, you put a ball on top of it, whatever the caliber was, close the prison, which ignited the powder. Counted off their paces. Two, three. Mm. I don't know. Three. Soon, Jim would have the stars trailer. Okay, I I saw that. I, I saw that. I don't know if you saw, but I'm gonna just pause it right there. Fire. That right there. <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh. Actually, you don't. Fire. You don't even ask for prize. You just say, oh no, oh. oh, no, oh. Go, go, go. Okay, maybe, yeah, I, I take that back. He does seem a bit worried. Looks like he's flying back. <laughs> Dude losing blood on his, from his arm? Or no, his hand? And from his leg as well. If you lose too much blood, that results in death. You lose consciousness. Start hemorrhaging, obviously. It's... You're done. <laughs> the jealous actor made a fatal error when loading his pistol. He used way too much gunpowder. I wouldn't say it's his fault for this one, just because he didn't really know. But if he did educate himself a little bit, he would know. But I don't think it's his fault, just because he didn't know. I don't blame him for that. When Jim pulled the trigger, the pistol became a deadly hand grenade. Excessive powder blew up the barrel, blew up his hand and shrapnel from the barrel cut deeply into his leg, severing his femoral artery. You want to know how that person died? It's literally right there, right in front of you. The person who has his hand blown off from an injury will suffer some... Because when I saw this when I was a kid, I didn't really, I didn't fully understand how that person died, but, you know, just looking back at, you know, the skeleton footage and, you know, how that, yada, 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 whatever. I understand. The person who has his hand blown off from an injury will suffer some blood loss, not major. This poor guy died because of the cutting of his femoral artery, which resulted in blood loss from his heart. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we definitely get it. Jim was desperate to be a big star. Long with his majesty the king. And would kill to get that leading role. In the end, his death scene was... names <clears throat> straight to DB dead I feel like they should have came up with a better name or better better blah, better title for this specific death instead of just straight to DB dead but I mean uh this this was a 2009 10 11 12 so full recap of what happened in these first three episodes that I reacted to the, the first episode like I said before, this dude had no clothes. He only wore his shorts and he was just, just cheering. No one was just really, everyone was bothered actually. No one even, didn't even want to be around him. They just wanted to do their thing and leave. Well, this guy was just cheering with his shirt on, acting like it's summer. And apparently he sat, he was just struggling. He was just shivering. He was going like this with his teeth as well. Like he was really dying. Like he he really couldn't do anything. He was freezing to death, and obviously people loved. And he was just sitting there, just frozen, like actually frozen. I I I'd say for that part, just if you're going out, especially in the cold weather, just just put on some jacket, sweater, 
You know, sometimes it's gonna make you feel warm. You don't want to be like that dude that just died for not wearing a jacket. And for that last part, that dude, when I said that I don't blame him for putting the gunpowder, I know. <laughs> Stupid notification. I know why he did that, just because he wants to get the leading role. I mean, this is like a competition for him. He pretty much got what he deserved from that. He put too much gunpowder. He wanted to get the role. He was jealous. And as a result, he died. Lost his hand. And he got like a little piece of the, the gun just in his leg. Which also caused it to bleed. And he died. Simple as that. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to say anything else. But, um... Yeah, that's 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 all I got for you guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.